First, let's find this Petrescu. Hello. I cannot enter. Me? I'll not die in some piss-stinking alley reeking work, boy. Are you all right? The bastard at the wall next to me. I don't even know if he meant to miss. If you've been hurt, I can help you. I'm a doctor. Name's Albert. Remember it. Now bugger off. Do you know Nurse Dorothy Crane from the Pembroke Hospital? If you know anything about her, I'd appreciate it. Never heard of her. She's pretty, I'll keep an eye out. What happened? Did you really steal that man's medication? Hey! I didn't do anything, it ain't me! All right. Perhaps the poor drunk just confused you with someone else. Sod off, mister. You ain't got no clue what's going on here. Faster was a soldier in the war, so now he's got the right to shoot me. It's true. I'm not familiar with this part of town. Perhaps you could help me. I said sod off. Go find yourself another guide. I found the recruiter you were expecting. He's dead, but he carried a note. The wet boot boys have accepted your application. I knew it! I told you I was tough enough. I'll be free soon. This note was found on a dead man, Albert. If that doesn't change your mind, then you must be ready to face the risks. You're all fancy words, none of which concern me. Go worry about someone else. I'm fine and I have a future here. Goodbye, young man. I won't end up another drunk arsehole littering the streets. Not me. What? Shooting a boy in the middle of the street. Not the best thing to do, wouldn't you say? What? You saw what happened. Who are you? I'm Dr. Reed. And I'd like to ask you a few questions, if you promise me to set your gun aside. No. Look, I I'm not a violent man. I'm Benjamin Palmer, doctor. And no one can help me. Not even you. Do you know Nurse Dorothy Crane from the Pembroke Hospital? Have you heard anything? It's funny, I've been searching for her too. I need some pills. But the woman is a phantom, if you ask me. Really? And why is that? Word is she ain't real. She's a cover for some doctor who runs an illegal dispensary for migrants. What can you tell me about this place? Nothing to say, really. This is where I used to live, and this is where I live now. You mean you used to have a better life? Yeah, I had a wife, a home, and a job. I even used to have a name. Now I'm just Ben. Ben the trap. You don't have anywhere to go. No family that would welcome you. Not since the death of my wife, Albert Smuller. She was sick, you see. Long before the flu and all this shit. Perhaps you could focus for a moment and tell me your troubles. I'm sick. Broke and my son just stole my pills. <laughs> Everything's coming up roses. What is it, Benjamin? It was the war, wasn't it? 
Your nerves are shot, aren't they? I need some answers, Private. From one soldier to another. The doctors call me a liar. A coward. Put me in a straitjacket, lock me up. Finally, they sent me back to the front lines with a handful of tablets. It's a pity that doctors still practice such barbaric methods. It's a dishonor to our profession. Now only the pills stop me thinking about this shit. To not hear the explosions. I'm even scared of the dark these days. Whatever the boy did, I'm sure he didn't deserve a public execution. I swear I didn't want to hit him. It's just that I'm sick in the head, you see, and the boy just, he just faked me last nerve. A gun, alcohol, and a bad temper make a terrible cocktail, sir. Goodbye for now. I won't end up another drunk ass on littering the streets. Not me. Good evening, miss. Good evening, sir. Are you interested in a miraculous cure for this unknown and deadly epidemic? Actually, I am. Then you have come to the right place. The famous Swanborough Cordial is all you need to help keep you in perfect health. Oh, really? Why didn't I hear about it during my studies? I'm Jonathan Reed, by the way. Dr. Jonathan Reed. Ah, my brother has spoken of your research, sir. I'm Loretta Swanborough, and it's always a pleasure to meet a fellow healer. Tell me, who intrigues you most in Whitechapel? The region itself is something to see, but I would say Camellia the mute florist who gives away her flowers. What do you think of the locals? Most of them are afraid or desperate. They all come to me eventually for my remedy. Is there anyone I should avoid? Cadogan Bates, without a doubt. The bloody bastard remorselessly exploits poor migrants as soon as they get here. Do you know Nurse Dorothy Crane from the Pembroke Hospital? I'd like to know more about her. I don't like to talk about competition. Competition, you say? Never met her, but it seems she provides some sort of medical care to the poor. The whole thing has to be some sort of scam, if you ask me. I'd like to see what kind of medicine you're selling. Its effectiveness has been proven oh, by many. Boy. Even the flu is no match for the Swanborough Cordial. Welcome, sir. Please, take a browse of my wares. I am Dr. Reed. I would like to ask you a few questions, if you don't mind. Doctor? Interesting. I'm Barrett Lewis. Usually I don't have time to waste with talk, but at this hour of the night I can hardly refuse. How is business around here? Business? I have no business. Between this racket, theft, and customers getting scared, I'm losing money every day. I see. Sounds like you blame someone in particular for your situation. It's no secret Joe Peterson spends his time harassing merchants. But with me, 
He's trying to put me out of business once and for all. As a merchant, you see Whitechapel every day. Have you noticed anything out of the ordinary recently? Well, you mean besides the epidemic, the war, and all the usual crap? As long as I can remember, this part of town has been a bottomless pit, and no sign of the bottom yet. Have you been hurt? No, but that's only because I ran like hell. Those men were raving lunatics, I tell you. Not even able to speak anymore, just screaming. Violence is increasing in the borough. Yeah. A few nights ago, some blokes jumped me. Came out of one of the condemned workshops. Fever. Madness. Something like that. Where did this happen? Why did you go there? In the closed workshops nearby. I worked there as an apprentice in better days. Now I only go to find trinkets or tools. Too bad I was mugged, though. There was good money in that little box of loot I lost. Have you heard of a nurse called Dorothy Crane? Nurse Crane? So the bitch really is a nurse, then? I always thought she was just some crafty foreigner, that one. So she's trying to help her fellow immigrants. Why would that make her a villain? Dorothy Crane ain't even a real name. Something like Dorothea Craniu. Something like that. Came to England fleeing the war, I was told. That doesn't explain why she irritates you so much. Your precious nurse crane gives away medical supplies and prescriptions for free. I offered to sell it for a fair cut, but no. Miss Crane wanted to play the quiet saint. Right then. Show me what you have. Excuse me, sir. I have a few... Another journalist? I didn't answer the first one, so piss off! I'm not a journalist. I'm a doctor. A doctor, you say? It's quite a rare breed in this part of town. Really? But still, here I am. Dr. Jonathan Reed, at your service. I'm Joe Peterson to some, but Colossus Joe to most. And I don't remember asking for your service, sir. May I ask what you do around here? I'll do whatever I want, and sometimes even more. Now sod off. How did you become the local bully everyone is afraid of, Joe? There's no pride in roughing up poor bastards. But this is the only job I've found. And it pays well, too. A job? So you're racketeering for someone else? I got enlisted by the Wet Boot Boys, a gang from the docks. I'm their muscle for their dirty work. You are a criminal who endorses criminal activity. The least you could do is stop hiding behind this pretense. I don't care what you think, sir. I'll do what I have to do for my own reasons, and that's that. I'm not sure Mr. Lewis would agree with your by all means necessary philosophy, sir. Oh, do you really think he's the poor victim here? Barrett can be as sneaky as anyone. Long ago, I even called the bastard my best friend. According to you, physicians are scarce in this part of town. Why is that? Not familiar with this neighborhood, are you? I guess your fancy colleagues are too afraid of being stabbed in the back. This part of town does have quite a reputation. 
Would you say it's justified? Totally. Look at me, for instance. I always look my opponent in the eye before knocking him out. Goodbye, Mr. Peterson. I'll come back when only one person's in.
When science fails you, this elixir. This week, Joe. Come on, we can sort it out, right? It's not my call, Baron. We pay one way or another. Hello, young man. I'm Dr. Reed, and I would like to ask you a few questions. May I enter, please? Sorry, no, sir. My father does not like people entering our house, you see. Your father is worried about you, boy. He asked me to look for you. So my father actually worries about me, then? Okay, then. Come on in. I'm Harry, by the way. Even my dreams are soaked with glue. Is there only pain and suffering in this world? It's locked. It's locked, all right. May I ask you a few questions? I'm not bothered. What could be worse? How do you feel? I'm fine. I mean, it's not easy every day, but I'm fine. I'm just tired of being sick all the time. If only I could be tough, like... Well, you know. Mm -hmm. Speaking of which... What can you tell me about your father? My father is an idiot. He makes idiot things. That's all I have to say. Forgive my bluntness, young man. But you don't seem happy living in Whitechapel. Why should I? I never wanted to come here in the first place. It was my father's decision. And look around you. Does this look like a nice place to live? You have a roof over your head? A place to call home. Many people here are not as lucky, you know. That's exactly what my father says. Harry, you should be grateful for what you've got. But I wasn't even consulted when we moved here. If life here is so terrible for you, why don't you just leave this place? Have you ever spoken to your father about it? I... I don't go outside. It terrifies me so. I went outside once without my father noticing and I saw terrible things. Bloody and frightening things. So that's why you stay at home all day? For fear of the epidemic? I'm not afraid of disease or death, Dr. Reed. It's the living I'm afraid of. Your father and Mr. Lewis used to be good friends. What happened, Harry? I was young then. I don't remember Mr. Lewis ever coming back again after my mother died. Or was it after my father started bullying him? I don't know. Goodbye, young man. So, I'm not bothered. Goodbye, young man. Take care of yourself. Even my dreams are soaked with glue.
Time to pay, one way or another. Yep. Where's my money? Time to pay, one way or another. What? What do you want? Leave me alone. Good evening, sir. I'm Dr. Reed. I'm looking for Nurse Dorothy Crane. There is no Dorothy Crane here. Now, goodbye. I'm afraid this medical leaflet says the opposite, sir. Really? Well, I'm afraid I'm going to close this door right now. Go bother someone else, Mr. Doctor. To enter that house, I must discover who this man really is. Maybe I could start by observing what he's up to. Strange man was at the door with a pass for our medical facility. I refused him entry. Darius, how could you know he didn't need our help? His clothes were too finely tailored to be for Whitechapel. Perhaps just a friend of that stray poet who is always about. Richard Nidercott? No, not of the same cloth, this man. I suspect some machination from that journalist. Clayton Darby? Is he still asking questions? Yes. I saw him drifting around St. Mary's Church. I swear he is tracking me just downwind. It's locked, all right. I must talk to that journalist or the poet. They must know about Darius. Nearby the church they just mentioned.
I cannot enter. Sorry, sir. No admittance.
effectiveness has been proven by many. The Swanborough Cordial can be the answer to all your problems. Bye. You never... You never... Right then. <laughs> 